If you had the opportunity to get the Turing chip in your car, would you get it? I did the exercise, a non-scientific exercise, this is important to mention, to understand what could be the price of changing the Turing chip, um, so our current uh, Orinex chips for the Turing chip, so to improve the ADAS system based on more processing power to have the full capability of the system as they have in China. So I did this exercise, again, it is a non-scientific, it is based on just some um, ideas from ChatGPT uh, that I played with a, a bit. I found it very interesting and that's why I decided to share with you guys. So I did this for my uh, specific pleasure, uh, just to understand what could be the, the, the price for something like that, but I decided to share with you guys because I did find it very interesting the way that uh, ChatGPT made the calculations and arrived to some conclusions and I would like to share this with you and get also the um, comments and feedback from you guys if this would be something interesting or not and if you were willing to pay this type of money for this full capability blown software ADAS system for our cars. So let's go and check what ChatGPT told me and then reach to our conclusions. Let's go. So here we are. So you see that the question that I made was how much could a change in the ADAS chips could cost in an X-Bank. So to change from one or in X to the new Turing chip developed by X-Bank. So the question was very clear. We currently have one RNX, I want the Turing chip, the best of the worlds, so how much this would cost me. So the ChatGPT made a couple of analyses and he knows what this is, so they know that the upgrade of ADAS chips in x cars from an one RNX to a Turing AI chips or a dual Orin uh, to Turing, plus some thoughts on what the real cost could be. So let's see how uh, these end up. So first, he decided to analyze what is known by now, and he told me that there was already an offering. Um, so XBank is offering owners of old spec models, so pro versions of P7Y, G9, G6, and X9, to upgrade from a single NVIDIA or in X chip to dual chips and unlock the new Hawk AI vision based urban NOA system. So this was a long time ago uh, where there was like um, an initiative to allow. Uh, old users of the cars to, um, if they wanted to uh, adhere and request this change for a value. So it's like a fundraising, something like that, um, that was made. I don't know if this went through or not, but this was public. Uh, there are a lot of information over internet about this. So they did, um, they found that the announced price for that upgrade was 20,000 uh, Chinese one, and we will see then the, the conversion for uh, US dollars and euros in after. So then uh, what that suggests about Turing chip upgrade, so he knows that even though that, that was for one chip to two chips, um, now he knows that Turing chip is three times the Orinex performance uh, or even better. Uh, and he says that the new G6 in China uh, is coming with Turing AI chips and the G G7 and also the P7, the new P P7 has free Turing chips inside. So uh, there are many variants, so we don't know what to uh, expect still, but let's continue. So estimating what a Turing upgrade could be and might cost. So it says that there are many components here. So the chipset, um, the SOC, uh, so it's the chip itself, but also the power supply, cooling of the chip, etc. They could be different. Um, but it says that um, could um, vary between several hundreds to a few thousands um, US dollars in bulk. So, of course, there are some additional costs that uh, can be analyzed. Then supporting hardware, so wiring, connectors, uh, possible sensors, cameras, radars, etc. I believe that we don't need much of these because the platforms uh, itself in China and in Europe are more or less the same. It was just stripped down a little bit uh, in Europe. So I do believe that the supporting hardware should not be a real problem here. 
Then we have, of course, integration and calibration. So we write the software, update, calibration of sensors, safety verifications and testings. I also don't believe that this is a big problem because even Xpeng says that uh, when the law allows in Europe, then software can easily be developed or uh, deployed in our cars over OTA. So I do believe that this is more than um, clear that it's not a problem on software rewrite or something like that. We will get the software as it is without any problem. So again, I don't see a problem here. Then, of course, we have margin installation overhead. That is the normal for any business. So he says that putting these all together for something like swapping out a DAS from Orinex to Turing in a car, a realistic total cost, so hardware, software and labor, might be between $2,000 to $5,000 or more. Of course, depending on volume, how much hardware we already need, reuse and regulatory safety uh, requirements. So let's stop here for a moment and look here. This is very important. This was what Candice Yuan told me when I made the interview on the IAA in Munich that she said and very openly said that if the time comes where laws allow to have the better system XNGP here in Europe, they are eager also to deploy that in our cars um, and to provide us as much as possible as the hardware allows. And also on the second question that was made, if, if it was possible to upgrade the cars, she was also very clear on that. If market demands wants this, they can do it. And even she said that they did it already, as ChatGPT is saying. So again, I do believe that this is possible, it's feasible to do, it's a matter of demand and the demand will influence of course the volume of the number of chips that they would have to produce and send overseas and you know that the number uh, if it is higher then the cost will be cheaper if it is just one guy wanting the Turing chip then the cost will of course be higher because you need to put on the price of an equipment all the internal R&D and uh, all other costs. And if you split all those costs in several chips, it will be cheaper over time. So this is very important. And Candice was very clear. If market demand, they are willing and it is possible to do. So let's continue. So specific uh, XPeng offer as a benchmark. So again, it's just now converting the 20,000 Chinese yuan to dollars. So it says that it's around 2,800 to 3,000 uh, uh, dollars. Um, so it is in line with what he said before. Now he is making an estimation to Europe and Portugal. He knows I am in Portugal. So he's doing that. For that, we need to consider import, shipping, duties, VAT, labor costs that are higher than in China, regulatory safety certifications, and if the volume is small, economies of scale worsen the cost, as I explained before. So the 2,500 to 500 may become 3,000 to 600 or more, 6,000 or more in practice for a full chip swap software and installation. Let's continue here. This is a very... Um, easy estimation here and he then asked me if I wanted for him to calculate in details um, these and I said yes he spent a lot of time he checked 55 um, um, websites and information to come to this uh, information uh, so it was a lot for ChatGPT and he ran the numbers and he asked and uh, pushed up uh, the market facts and stuff like that. So let's go. So using Xpeng's public upgrade benchmark, the 20,000 uh, Chinese ones at the starting point, a recently listed total cost in Portugal for dealer style chip upgrade plus hardware chipping installation validation is likely to land in the ballpark of 3,300 euros to 4,600 euros per car under plausible scenarios. Let's see what he did. So sources used, so he went for the public uh, chip upgrade for um, that was made before. He applied the 23% of VAT. He used the currently uh, exchange rate um, that is used. 
he applied an uh, EU uh, uh, European Customs and Tariq database background, so is for the custom duties, etc. He applied that local labor, so he estimated the amount of the price of the local labor to calculate then the execution of this change swap, and then he made then these um, calculations, so transparent assumptions. Base price, he got this, he made the conversion, he reached the number of the chips price. So he reached out that the tuning chip could cost 2,395 euros per chip. Chipping customs and handling, chipping and handling could cost between 100 to 300 euros, depending if it's coming from air or sea. And then customs duty is calculating, so between zero to 5% duty, um, on the price of the ship and then is applying the VAT so the tax of consuming 23% here in Portugal and then is calculating free levels of labor so minimum for hours typical dealer 8 hours complex 12 hours so it depends on the complexity of executing this um, service ah, so let's go here so he finally calculates free levels low cost scenario best case the price of the chip is equal in all the scenarios. Then chipping and handling, you saw that it was between 100 and 300. So 100 here, 200 here, and 300 here. Customs duty zero here, if it applies. 3% uh, here and 5% here. Then uh, VAT, so 397 here because it's on top of all the other costs. Here a little bit more and here also a little bit more. And then labor, he considered here four hours. 8 hours and then 12 hours and we reach the final conclusion that the price would be 3,300 euros to 4,500 euros. So now he makes some notes and disclaimers and stuff like that. Of course, you they need to do that because these numbers are not public, these numbers are not real. So it's again a non-scientific <laughs> exercise that I meet, made for my pleasure but I want to share that with you guys. So let's go for the conclusions here. So as you could see, this was the exercise. So my question to you guys is, would you be willing to pay this amount of money? So between 3,500 to 5,000 euros for this full blown ADAS package that we know and see in China to have the full blown, imagine that laws allow and we could have these in our cars. Would you buy this tuning ship and all the services around? I will tell you my opinion. I would buy it. I would buy it without hesitation. So, of course, I need to have the money, but I would get it without any hesitation. And I will explain why. When I was searching for my car, I decided to come to Xpeng. Uh, and I did made a lot of comparisons with Tesla, for instance. That I still consider that it's one of the most advanced um, self-drive systems around. Works well. It has some flaws also, but it does work work well. And even it it was our system, the Xpeng. It was more or less based on the, uh, on the Tesla one. Um, you can check the story about Xpeng, how it was created and from where it originated. It's a very interesting story. If you want, I can make a video out of that also. But um, so when I was looking at that, I considered the full self-drive option package uh, when I was looking to the cars. And that option, that it's only software, even it's only opening the doors of the software because it's all there already. So you have the hardware, you have everything. It's 7,800 euros in Portugal to have the full self-drive. Even, for instance, if I buy it a Tesla now and I buy the 7,800 euros of that feature, I will not use it because it is not possible. It's just uh, in the future, it will be possible, but I would have to pay it now. So it's something more or less the same. So imagine that Xpeng comes out tomorrow and say, guys, tuning ship is available to purchase. You could purchase it immediately, even though that you would not be able to use it because the laws don't allow that full self-drive here in Europe. So 
That's why I say that for me, it would, be, it would be a very easy decision to purchase this Turing chip and have more processing power in my car. Uh, I would do it without blinking. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments. Would you buy it? Do you have a maximum amount that could be feasible for you, that you could see it possible? Or no way at all you think that you should get this for free because whatever. Let me know in the comments. I will also create a community post with the voting uh, possibilities so that we could then discuss that uh, also over there and understand how many people would be willing to buy this option. And maybe even Xpeng can look at it and see the comments and see the voting and maybe they could even decide that we are so good customers that they could deliver this sooner. Let's see, guys. Again, last disclaimer. This is a non-scientific exercise made for my pleasure that I wanted to share with you. So please don't blame me if Xpeng offers this and you will come later saying, but Hugo said it would cost 5,000 euros. Or don't blame me if I said that it could cost 5,000 euros and XPEN comes with a 10,000 price tag. It's not my fault. It's a non-scientific exercise made for my pleasure that I wanted to share with you guys. So thank you very much. Leave in the comments, leave your like, subscribe, activate the bell and see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.